All right. <laughs> Doesn't look so bad from up here. <laughs> Um, so, hi everyone, my name is Beth Gillett and thanks so much for being here to watch my presentation uh, where I'll be speaking to my practicum experience during the last term of my undergraduate degree with the School of Public Health and Social Policy. Uh, I performed my practicum at Island Health within the Nanaimo Public Health Unit and I was so fortunate to have a really good experience there. Uh, one part of my practicum was working with the project lead for the baby bed program in Nanaimo. Uh, to put together a strategy for engaging stakeholders with the baby beds. So that's something I'll talk a little bit about today. Uh, so I think we all know the goal of public health. Uh, the goal of public health is to provide services and info in an accessible way to promote uh, health and community wellness. Um, so Nanaimo Public Health serves over 95,000 people in the, uh, in the greater Nanaimo, Lady Smith, and Gabriola areas. So one of the projects that presented itself to me from the beginning was the opportunity to join the working group for the Nanaimo Baby Bed Project, uh, which was still in the planning phases at this time. So what the baby uh, beds are, they're based on the finished baby box model. This Island Health Initiative is aimed at addressing the high rates of sudden infant death syndrome and sudden unexpected, infant, uh, sudden unexpected death in infancy, so SIDS and SUDI uh, on Vancouver Island. Uh, sadly, BC infant mortality rates are high compared to the rest of Canada, and on Vancouver Island, these rates are even higher. The baby bed program, which has already been implemented in two uh, Vancouver Island uh, communities, aims to provide a safe sleep space for babies aged four to five months. Uh, receiving the bed also results in a teachable moment, uh, so it gives the opportunity for PHNs to uh, discuss uh, safe sleep practices with mothers and answer their questions. Uh, this program will be offered universally in order to reach all mothers and to reduce any stigma surrounding the bed. It hopes to reduce infant mortality by providing safe, free sleep spaces for babies and by building stronger connections between families and their local health authorities. Oh, whoops. oh, and there's a picture of some of the sweet babies. So my practicum base case my role within the baby bed program during my time at Island Health was to support the rollout by helping develop a plan for engaging with stakeholders and to be part of the core working group for the region. This plan will be utilized by those involved in the project to identify who we plan to engage with, uh, when and why. My responsibility was to collaborate with those in public health to identify the who, what, when, where's and why's and to uh, identify, uh, oh, and to help facilitate and seek out engagement opportunities. This was an important part of the program because lessons had been learned in other communities that genuine engagement led to creative and customized programs. So planning engagement within the health unit. Planning engagement for the baby bed program was extremely relationship-based. I engaged in a continuous process of looking for opportunities to involve other community stakeholders and made a conscious effort to engage and reach out. I collaborated with the lead baby bed PHN to identify ways in which the baby bed could be incorporated into existing programs such as breastfeeding classes and parenting classes. We also got the opportunity to present. I networked with people from different organizations in various meetings and presented the baby beds at monthly meetings and was fortunate to be involved in cultural safety talks. These activities helped spread the word about the program, gain donations, and, uh, in, and uh, collaborate with service providers and clients. It also allowed me to be involved in uh, conversations about how the future of baby beds could be tailored to the cultural safety needs of communities in coming years. One great thing that came out of cultural safety discussions was that it helped to identify groups of elders that could be consulted in order to increase the overall transparency of the program. 
My supervisors did a really good job at introducing me to new people and opportunities. Um, so those were a couple of the things that worked. Some of the things that didn't work were that people often have busy schedules and uh, take sick leaves. So I quickly learned that I needed to take initiative and assert myself professionally. Although I think all of the PHSP values could be applied, two of the main principles I identified were critical analysis drawing on uh, principles of social justice and equity and diversity and cultural safety. So that's the end of my presentation, and I would like to thank my supervisors, Nadine and Aaron, and one of my own formal supervisors, Helen von Buschholz, and also Betty and Lynn, the PHSP faculty, and all my health and community services peers, and my wonderful friends and family. Thank you. Thank you. Questions? After all that cake, I'm glad I'm walking. <laughs> Thanks so much, that was a great presentation. Thank I'm just you. curious if you know, this might have been beyond what you were looking at, but you mentioned that infant mortality was higher on the island than in other places in BC and Canada, and I was wondering if you came across why. Um, what factors led to the higher infant why mortality? Why is, rate? it's a bit of a mystery actually. BC, just until recently, had quite low rates, but in 2016 there was quite a spike. So recent, uh, Previously, that we were seeing about 18 deaths per year. 2016 saw 15 deaths, deaths in the first three months, and nobody really knows why. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have an answer for that question. Sorry. <laughs> and how does the baby bed work? They um, just so it's it's basically just like a cardboard box, and it's a safe sleep space. So. Um, it's, it's, it replaces a bassinet or a crib, and the baby just kind of sleeps there <laughs> on this kind of thin but firm mattress. And, um, and, it, and the point of it is to kind of connect people with their health services so parents know about safe sleep and not to put you know, plush toys or fuzzy blankets like you'd want to do or like think to do. And, um, and it's also kind of a way for uh, parents to have an alternate sleeping space, so if they're in the kitchen or cooking or something, they can, you know, have the baby by them, and yeah. yeah. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Are, are there any other questions? Oh. I didn't see any, but... Oh, yeah, that's a baby bed. <laughs> there. So, so do you want to describe it just a little bit? So, so it's, it's the box in the middle. Yeah, and so it's got... Um, a few like free things like a safe, like a sleep sack and uh, diapers and a book. And uh, um, that is a prototype from Port Alberni, I believe. So the one in Nanaimo is going to look a little bit different. It's got kind of a nice tree design. Um, so yeah, and it may look different in the future too, depending on where, where they decide to go with it too. Very interesting. Thank you, Beth. You're welcome. Thanks.